Hey everybody, I'm Tony and a special welcome if you're new to my channel and welcome back if you are a regular visitor. If you've always spent your time in complete control, focused entirely on instruments, then you are not alone. And if you are one of those who've never really explored the effects side of complete control, then you should really get a lot out of this tutorial. So let's take a good look at effects in general and then hone in on saving our own custom effects presets for later use. I have an instance of Complete Control standalone open and my complete S88 MK2 is ready and waiting. And so first let's quickly review the process of auditioning and saving instrument user presets since the process is essentially the same for effects. With the mouse we will switch between search view and the instrument thumbnail view. Likewise with loops and with one shots. Back in the Instruments tab, I have pre-selected a guitar sound for this video, which I will load now. I like this sound a lot, and so I will add it to my favorite sounds by clicking the star to the right of the patch name. Now when I'm in Search View, I can access this and my other favorite patches by clicking the star symbol to the right of the search box. But if I spend a bunch of time fine-tuning the effect like I am doing now, and I want to keep the result, I can save it as a user preset, which we can then access by clicking the user symbol here. So now when I open the user preset, the changes I made are reflected. But if I uncheck the user button, so I can switch back to favorites, the patch is then in its original form. And so saving any kind of user preset is non-destructive to your original preset collection. Now let's look at effects. Only after loading an instrument patch can we load an effects patch. And to access effects, we first need to activate plugin chain in our view options. Click C if you are in complete control standalone. Now if you hover your mouse to the right of the instrument box, another box appears which you then click to get into the effects side of complete control. Now just like with instruments, we can switch between search view and effects thumbnail view. The only difference being that you can't audition effects patches by scrolling through them in the browser list in the same way that you can do it with instrument patches. They need to be loaded for auditioning, and one way to do that is by using the preset up and down buttons on your complete keyboard. The downside to this method is that it loads presets in a linear fashion, either one up or one down with no ability to skip over patches in order to load a preset further down the list. And of course you can scroll through presets and load them as you do with instrument presets. Once you have loaded an effect, you can then add additional effects by repeating the same process. And you can just as easily delete them all if you change your mind. When you find an effects patch you really like, you can of course also save it to a favorites folder for easy access later. But you can also save any effects patch as a user preset if you want to make patch changes and then want to keep the changes for later use. And finally, once an effects patch is loaded, you can toggle it on and off so you can easily compare your instrument sound with and without the effect. And now you can apply your saved custom or favorite effects presets to any instrument in complete control. And you can do that without even unloading the effect. Simply switch to the instrument box and then choose a new instrument.
but it gets better than that because you can also access your custom effects presets when you load native instrument effects directly into your favorite DAW. If you load an effect for which you have not created any user presets, the user presets will be simply grayed out. But if you load an effect for which you have created user presets in complete control, you can then access and directly load those presets without having to use complete control at all. And so that's a quick overview of the powerful effects features available to you as a complete control user. And as always, if you found this video helpful to your workflow, kindly give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. We shall see you on the next video.